Hello, in this uh, brief tutorial we will learn how to pass parameters from one argument one, from one fragment to another. So let's say we have a first fragment with uh, edit text uh, so pressing next button should send uh, argument to the second fragment. Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, based on the uh, simple basic application with two fragments, first fragment and second fragment. Uh, if you remember, we did this in the previous uh, in the previous tutorial. Only one update is required. You need to uh, update fragment first by drag and drop uh, edit text first, or just simply modify your text view to edit text first, edit text first. And second fragment, uh, we just have uh, te text view second uh, with the text view uh, by default none. For the first step, you have to add some dependencies for both uh, build Gradle files. Um, so to add arguments to your project, include the following uh, class path to your top level of build Gradle file. Top level means application uh, build Gradle. I will uh, copy this line and replace this navigation version that I currently have. So I'm going here and uh, and first here, so my navigation version it will be from the previous, uh, what I remember uh, from the previous project was 2.4.1. Uh, just double check here. Uh, yeah, so now my navigation fragment, uh, navigation UI was 2.4.1. So that's why right now my class is uh, Android X Navigation Safe Arguments Gradle plugin using the same number. So one more changes you require it to go to uh, application or module level, right? So right now just copy this plugin and open build gradle module level and insert it here. So plugin Android X navigation save arcs Kotlin. So after those two changes, I press sync now. So please note, after two, these two additions, you should have a build successful. Uh, you may run project if you want, but uh, yeah, project should be properly uh, updated in both files, uh, build Gradle project level and build Gradle module level. The next is switch to navigation graph and a switch to design. So right now we go into a receiver fragment. So double click on receiver fragment and you'll see here in the right corner an attributes argument. So press a plus on arguments for the second uh, fragment. Let's write a argument you want to receive. In this case, uh, it will be just uh, very straightforward. We want argument to be name, name then we just select type of the argument string. Uh, yeah, accept a nullable and default value will be selecting as a null value. Uh, press add. So what's happened in this case? Switch to the code and you will be able to see a new section for the second fragment. We just added uh, the argument section, open close, uh, name, string, true and default value null. So since we created arguments for the second uh, fragment, the second fragment args class will be generated. Uh, and we have to go right now to the second class, uh, second fragment class that we just already had by default. And uh, going to uh, update on view created method. So on view created method was where we navigate from second fragment into the first argument. So basically the class uh, where we uh, would like to, first of all, um, step one, create a bundle. Uh, value bundle uh, would be assign a value of arguments. Uh, then we will check if a bundle is null. 
So consequently, in this case, uh, fragment didn't receive any information. A log uh, debug message with kind of confirmation. Adding to unprod the method. Otherwise, uh, step two is uh, if extract argument from bundle. So having the value of arguments will be name of the class we just generated, second fragment args dot from bundle. And bundle will be just uh, the, very, the value that we just uh, define above. Okay. So after that, we have to basically display, display the value uh, that we just uh, obtain in the respective text view. So the condition is very simple. If args dot name dot is null or blank, uh, in this case uh, we uh, going to do the binding with empty string. So in this case, text you second dot text will be. We can use the string that we have uh, in our uh, string XML file. In my case, it is a string that associated with um, empty, empty string. Uh, string dot um, no name. Right. Otherwise. Um, Otherwise, binding will be uh, specific in this case. Binding dot text second dot text and will be uh, taking this rc dot name. So I hope it makes sense uh, what we just wrote, right? So basically, uh, we have access to the uh, single argument. And the checking conditions, if it's not null, we uh, assign test to second to this argument. Otherwise, uh, we display a no name string. So we're done right now with, with the second fragment. Uh, yeah, make sure to align everything properly. So if right now you build application, just make sure there's no errors, syntax errors first of all. Uh, obviously, application would not work uh, because the first uh, fragment not adjusted to the arguments yet. We are going to do this in our next step. Um, yeah, but make sure that you are ready for the next step. And uh, the following result probably will fail because, uh, yeah, whatever name we have here, uh, uh, no name will be from the previous. Uh, if you pass any information, we still have no, uh, no answer. In this case, we have to right now modify the first fragment. So right now, we're going back to navigation graph XML, and we have to add uh, arguments uh, for the first fragment as we did for the second. And you see here, um, yeah, uh, it's this section highlighted right now. You can uh, copy paste this section. Uh, copy. So the first fragment had only action. Uh, right now we insert uh, argument inside action. So please note, add actions argument here when you uh, finish destination. Uh, don't close action. Insert exactly the same list of arguments that you define here. And Finally, close action. So please note it's a slightly different here because the action was basically closed in the a second fragment. But right now action is closed after inserting argument to this section. Uh, this is very critical. And when you press design, you will not be able to see any arguments for the first fragment. The arguments will be registered only for the second argument, which is uh, totally fine. And right now, go back uh, to the first fragment and update uh, 
method uh, on view created. So right now we have to uh, do the following. In um, inside uh, button click, we will be changing uh, fine nav controller. So first of all, uh, we have to uh, create a local name variable based on the uh, value from binding dot um, edit text first dot uh, text dot to string. So after that, uh, you uh, should be able to define directions. And direction is very specific uh, variable. So in, you have to in this case, if you created uh, properly uh, fragment arguments, they should pick up directions from this list. And uh, the next, uh, the file will be first fragment directions uh, dot action first fragment to the second fragment. You see, I don't type anything. I pick up everything from the list. And in parameter will be just your uh, string, which is a local name. One line of code. We have to change navigation because we don't navigate right now uh, directly to the f to the second fragment. This time we will be navigating uh, to the directions, and navigation controller will be uh, navigate to uh, specific directions that we just defined. That's it. So three lines of code basically, and uh, the magic is done. So let's see how it works. Right, so right now is the name. We will write here uh, the name you would like to pass to the second fragment, Anna. And Anna is displaying a second fragment. In case you forget to assign any name, uh, no name will be, uh, will be displayed from the string value. The string resource, uh, this is actually the name that we attach uh, for the second fragment in case uh, fragment is not found, right? So what is this line? Yeah, in case uh, when we extract arc's name, uh, it'll be is null or blank, we will uh, display the string no name. All right, so it was a brief video how to pass basic uh, fragment arguments from one to another. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to ask. Thanks a lot.